Hey house guests, welcome to today's Big Brother 21 updates and spoilers. Our house guest of the day is Johnny. Johnny, thank you so much for the support. We could not do this without you and we appreciate it so, so much. So thank you again. And if you guys wanna be house guests of the day like Johnny, check out our Patreon link in the info box below. Alrighty, so when we left off yesterday, we found out that Nick, no boundaries Nick, one America's prankster. America, why? So he will secretly be making one of the nominations this week. Um, Holly is also trying to decide who she's gonna put up. She's kind of going back and forth between Nick and Christy. Um, Nick is definitely her target this week, but she wants to make sure that she doesn't blow it this time because she's tried to get Nick out before and it did not work. So Holly and Jackson uh, have a little strategy chat in the HOH room and they are hearing conflicting reports about a conversation that supposedly happened between Christy and Nick right before the live eviction show. So Christy is saying that Nick told her that he wouldn't put her up if he won HOH and he was trying to get her to throw the HOH competition to him. But Nick is saying that Christy approached him and offered to throw the HOH to him if he promised not to nominate her. Did that make sense? <laughs> I hope so. Um, don't worry, we're gonna talk about it more. So Holly is really nervous that Christy and Nick will start working together. They're already talking about potentially throwing competitions to each other. Taco Tuesday, they were ready to rip each other's heads off and now they're like all buddy-buddy again. So she's a little nervous about that. And when I say little, I mean a lot. So she would like to fuel the feud between Nick and Christy. Maybe she can say to Nick that she wasn't planning on putting him up on the block, but then she decided to after hearing about this Nick and Christy conversation. She really wants to try and put some of the blame on Christy because if Nick does end up staying this week, Holly does not want to be his number one enemy. She wants to avoid that at all costs. I mean, obviously, Nick is still going to be going after Jess, but he could put her on the back burner and uh, go for Holly first. So Jackson's like, all right, well, we should talk to Christy and try and get her to instigate some shit with Nick. Right? See if we can get them to have another blow up. Let's just pit them against each other and see what happens. So Holly says, you know what? If we're going to talk to Christy, we also need to remind her what she was saying in her campaigning to stay last week because before she was saying that she would happily take fifth place and it would be great and she was gonna do anything that she could to get rid of Nick and they could use her any way that they want and now she's being weird about it. You know, we saw her reaction when Holly was telling her that she might go up as a pawn and Christy was like, already, what? And now Christy is also saying, that she'd be cool with like second or third place. <laughs> no mention of fifth anymore. So Holly's like, mm -mm, no, we need to freaking make her more grateful that she's still here. So Jackson brings Christy up to the HOH room and Holly says, okay, thank you for coming. Uh, I'm trying to figure out some he said, she said stuff here. So Nick told me that you approached him and said that you would throw the HOH competition to him. And Christy's like, oh no, bring him up here right now. He's an effing liar. So Jackson, oh my God, when he hears this reaction, he cannot hide his smile. He's loving this. This is exactly what he wanted. He wants Christy to get all fired up so that she will blow up on Nick again. So Christy's all, wow, what? And Christy says again, bring him in here. She says it's going to be a major blow up. It's not. But she says it could potentially be. So Christy explains her side to Holly and Jackson. She says, I talked to Nick on Wednesday and it was campaign Wednesday as Christy likes to call it. So she was saving Nick for last because she wasn't really campaigning to him. It was more of an I'm sorry kind of conversation for the Taco Tuesday blow up and everything that happened and her trying to tank his game so that she can stay. So he was sensing that, whoa, she could have a shot to actually stay. So he was telling her 
that she would not be his target if he were to win HOH. And this is true. He was saying this in the conversation. And Christy was like, that's cool, but if I win HOH, I'm still going to have to put you up because that's what my whole campaign was based on. I can't go back on that. I'm sorry. So he said, I can't believe you made a deal with your mortal enemies, Jackson and Holly. I honestly don't remember if he used the term mortal enemies, but if he did, that's hilarious. So Christy says that was on Wednesday. And then on Thursday, they were getting ready for the live show. They were like a few minutes away from it. And Christy went into one of the bedrooms and told Nick, like, whoa, you should get dressed, you should get ready, because we're starting the show soon. And Nick was all like, yeah, 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 uh, I'm studying the bird calls, whatever. So it's fine. So then um, Christy says that Nick told her right before the show that he was going to win this HOH competition. This was his comp to win. And he said again that he's not targeting Christy. So at that point, Christy starts reenacting this conversation and she says he held out his hand like he was going to shake hands to make a deal, but Christy did not shake it. Uh, she swears on her life and her sister's life, her poor sister, that that is what happened. She did not make a deal with him. She did not say she was going to throw the competition. Mm -mm. And I don't know what the truth is because we did not see this conversation on the feeds. It happened right before the show started so hopefully we're gonna get some receipts on Sunday's show because I would like to see that so anyway Christy says she feels like Nick was trying to bait her so that he could run back to Jackson and Holly at the last minute and throw her under the bus and be like yo Christy just said that she's gonna um, throw the HOH comp to me or she's not gonna put me up if she wins blah 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 and it was like some sort of last-ditch effort to save sis I don't think that's what it was I think he was probably just trying to cover his ass because he knew that Christy was going to stay. But anyway, they're all wondering if Nick is America's prankster. And Christy says if he is, she has a feeling that she will be going up on the block. And Jackson's like, I don't know, could be me. He thinks that Nick would want to put him up because this is an opportunity for him to do that without getting any blood on his hands. It's a secret nomination. So then Holly's like, all right, guys, come on. We're running out of time here. We got nominations coming up. If we're going to talk to Nick about all this, we need to do it now. So Jackson leaves to go get Nick. Holly and Christy continue talking about Nick, saying, oh, he thinks he's so freaking smart, but he's not. So then Kristen, Nick, Jackson, and Holly are in the HOH room, and Jackson's like, because he thinks it's about to be Taco Tuesday Part 2. Um, so Christy says, all right. I want this to be as peaceful as possible because I love you, Nick, and you know that I love you. But she says she's really upset right now. She says, did you go to Holly and say that I would throw the HOH competition to you? And Nick says, I never said the word throw. And Holly says, yes, you did. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so, um... They're arguing, they weren't like yelling, but they were going back and forth about semantics, Nick and Christy. And Nick was like, I could have sworn that I told you guys that Christy never said she would throw it, but she said that she might not have been mad if Nick were to win. So, it's not like the same, okay, whatever. So Christy's like, no. I would not have thrown the competition no freaking way because first of all I made a deal and I'm not gonna go back on that and secondly I didn't believe you that you wouldn't put me up on the block so I'm not gonna risk that so then Christy brings up the mortal enemies comment and Nick says you guys were mortal enemies <laughs> so maybe he did say that I don't know um so then Holly's like all right well whatever if you're saying that if Christy was not going to be going up on the block if you won HOH, then that means that I would have gone up next to Jess. And Nick is like, yeah, you already knew. You've heard me say that if Sis were to stay and I won HOH, I was planning on putting up you with Jess, but Jess would be the target. So Christy's like, all right, Nick, I want you to know I really respect and appreciate you not lying right now. So Nick admits um, there were some inaccuracies here he admits that he 
was not approached by Christy with this conversation. Yes, Christy may have gone up to him to say other things like get dressed and good luck, um, but she did not initiate any conversations about like safety or anything like that. So he also says, I didn't mean it to sound like she said that she would throw the competition to me. I feel like you probably did mean for it to sound that way. I, again, don't know what Christy actually said during that pre-show conversation, but I'm sure Nick knew what he was saying to Holly and Jackson about it. So he says, I just felt like if it was down to me and Christy, she might let me win. Okay, so Nick apologizes and he says, I'm always honest about what I say or do. So then Holly says, well, I was really nervous when I heard that you wouldn't put Christy up, not even as a replacement nominee. And Nick's like, mm, I don't remember saying that she wouldn't even be a replacement nominee. I don't remember that part. So Christy is swearing on her sister, of course, that he did say that. And he was like, you know what? I don't remember. So maybe I did, maybe I didn't. But if you're saying that I did, sure. So then Nick tells Holly, I'm not targeting you. Um, I would have put you up next to Jess because I knew that you would be safe and there's not a ton of pawn options available and he wouldn't be putting up like Nicole or Tommy. He's good with Jackson. He wouldn't want to put him up. So it wasn't like he was targeting Holly. She just would have been a good pawn against Jess. So then Holly is acting like she wouldn't necessarily put Nick up this week but then she heard about this conversation between Nick and Christy and it made her nervous. So Nick is like, whatever, like I already knew that I was going up uh, this week, so it is what it is. I get the game move, do what you gotta do. And he says that he knows he's gonna have to win this veto if he's gonna stay this week. Okay, so this was not the blow up that Holly or Jackson were hoping for, but that's what they got. Okay, so then the feeds went down for a bit for the nomination ceremony, and when they come back, we find out that Holly nominated Nick, and Nick secretly nominated Christy. So Christy says, it's a game. I survived last week, I'm gonna survive again. Um, Holly is pretty pumped up about these nominations because this is who she wanted up on the block anyway. However, she didn't want to have to be the one to put Christy up there, so she is just like, yes, this is amazing. I'm so glad that America's Prankster put Christy up on the block. And she's like, this is great because even if Christy or Nick win the veto, one of them is still going to be up on the block on Thursday. We can get rid of a big threat. So that is prank depending, right? We don't know what the rest of the pranks will be this week. Some um, the house guests were speculating that maybe no one's going this week and that's gonna be like the big final prank and then that will line up the schedule so that they can still have a double. Oh, I don't want someone to stay. <laughs> okay, anyway, um, Holly and Jackson are thinking that Nicole might be the prankster and they're happy with her choice you know if it is her they're glad she put up christy and they're like look at her doing something something in the game finally good for her it's not nicole um but obviously holly has been telling people also she does not want the nominations to change she's nervous that if christy comes down the prankster could put jackson up there and that would be bad Okay, so then Nick and Nicole were chatting in the RV room and Nick asks her, would you be cool with me picking you to play in the veto if I got house guest choice? And Nicole says, yeah, I would use it on you. Ah! So she says a lot of people would be pissed off, but it is what it is. I get that Nicole feels safe with Nick, but uh she's gonna serious she would piss off everyone with that oh my god except for tommy so i really hope that she's just like saying that to nick but oh my god that would be insane so nick says yeah i don't think that i should pick tommy for this veto because tommy if he wins he's gonna be torn between using it on me or using it on christy 
Oh my god, that'd be nuts if Tommy did win the veto and he had to choose between his childhood friend and his footman. <laughs> what would he do? Oh my god. So Nick says, you know, if it's just the two of us left in this competition, you could just throw it to me. That would be cool too. But he says, if you win and take me down, we'll both be safe. You can't be the replacement nominee. So that is the ideal scenario for them. And he says, if it's not best for your game to use it on me, then don't do it. You know, I totally understand that. So then Nick starts talking about what a liar Christy is and you can't win with her. She just lies about everything. She's just really good at this game, bruh. And he says she should have gone last week. He was also talking about how she plays dirty. Mm, I feel like you also play dirty. All right. Um, so then Nick is trying to, uh, to figure out if Christy comes up, comes off of the block, who could he potentially be safe against? You know, he's trying to feel this out because if Christy comes down, he'll be picking the replacement nominee. So Nicole doesn't know that, but Nicole is suggesting, I don't know, maybe like Tommy? And Nick is like, really? No way, I don't think so. But Nicole's like, I don't know, people might see this as an opportunity, a golden opportunity, to take out Tommy because he hasn't even been on the block once yet. So maybe now would be the time to vote Tommy out. So then Nick is like, mm, I don't know. What about if Jackson went up next to me? And Nicole says, damn, I didn't even think of that. So Nick says, yeah, I could stay if I get votes from you, Tommy, Nick, that's three. It only takes three votes to stay this week. And Nicole says, that could work. You know, that's a possibility. I don't see Cliff voting out Jackson over Nick, but it would be an interesting scenario for sure. Um, so then Nick says, going back to this matchup of him versus Christy, if it's still like that on Thursday, he's not sure how Tommy's going to vote. He would like to think that Tommy would keep him because in the past, Tommy has promised that he would keep Nick over Christy. I don't know. That, I don't think so. I don't know. I think Tommy would probably wait to see what everybody else is going to do. And then he would just be like, I'm going with the house. And he would do whatever. But I don't think he would fight hardcore um, for Christy to stay. I don't know. But anyway, um, this could be a really tough week for Tommy, depending on who's up on the block at the end of the week. Get your fake tears ready and all of you right okay so then um last night there were a lot of pies being thrown in faces and at this point everyone has been hit at least once and oh my god nicole got jackson good she was all too happy to go and hit him with that pie and it was like a real like she got him good um she even got nick while he was in the diary room that's gonna be funny to watch so in other pie related news big brother is not letting them put plastic on the floor anymore so there is a lot of cleanup that's nasty oh the floor is getting all sticky and i guess they're not putting the whipped cream in the refrigerator so it's like spoiling and it smells really bad Blech. that's nasty okay so then the rest of the night was boring the house guests were just speculating who the prankster is and who they would put up if Christy came down and I gotta say Nick is doing a good job of hiding it so far you know his name is coming up as a potential prankster but nobody's like oh my god it's absolutely Nick it has to be him so he's keeping that secret for once okay so then this morning they had the power veto player draw and guess what everyone is playing except for Tommy and Nicole. Poor Nicole has only played in one veto all season. That's nuts. Um, so she was pretty upset about that because if you look at the lineup, you've got... <sighs> I'm losing my thoughts for a second. You have Holly, Nick, Christy, uh, Jackson, Cliff, and Jess. I feel like the only person that would potentially use the veto on Nick is himself so she feels bad that he doesn't have people in his corner she feels like he's an underdog at this point and she wants to root for the underdog and tommy is the only person that she feels like would use the veto on nick and he's not playing either so 
Tommy is probably relieved because he is avoiding an uncomfortable position. He was a little nervous that if he didn't win the veto, he could potentially go up um, by the prankster. He doesn't realize that his footman is the prankster, but yeah, he was a little bit nervous about that. But I think he is probably relieved that he won't have to choose between Christy and Nick for the veto. So anyway, um, after that, Jackson played a prank on Christy. He was like, yeah, um, just so you know, if I win the veto, I'm gonna have to take Nick off. And he said, like, basically right after that he was just kidding, and it was prank week, and it was a prank, but Christy starts crying and laughing. Like, she got it was a joke, but she was just so emotional that the tears started coming out. It's Christy. And Jackson was apologizing. It was pretty funny, but yeah um so then cliff and nicole were chatting in the bathroom area and cliff says you know what it would make a lot of sense for nick to be america's prankster ding 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 because of what happened with taco tuesday last week and you know just judging by christy going up on the block it could be nick it would make sense and nicole's like you know what you're right i feel like nicole should be pretty suspicious of Nick at this point, considering how many times he's asked her, like, if I were to get the prankster, who do you think I should put up? Like, things like that. It should be making a lot of sense right now. So Cliff says, I know it's going to be a tough week for you if nominations stay the same, because obviously you're really close with Nick, and he's the target, and it seems like he would get voted out. So, I'm sorry. And Nicole says, yeah, I feel better about Nick being in the game than Christy. Nick would not put us up. Who knows what Christy would do? So, she says Christy freaks her out because she knows that some of the things that Christy says are lies. She's not wrong about that. So then Cliff says, if he wins HOH, he wants to put up Tommy and Christy. He says they both make him really nervous. Um, that would be fun. <laughs> I think Tommy and Holly both need to feel the heat. They haven't been up on the block yet. That's no fun. So then Nicole's asking, okay, well, hear me out. What if Christy comes down and the prankster puts up Jackson? So Cliff is like, hmm, I think people could easily flip and want to vote out Jackson. And he says, hopefully you and I and Jess could dot dot dot. He doesn't really finish that thought, but it sounds like he would still want to keep Jackson and get rid of Nick because he is like totally into going in the final four with Jackson and Holly. He does not trust Nick at all. Um, so he would, you know, this could be a split for Nicole and Cliff. They're not going to agree on this. Nicole is definitely going to want to keep Nick, and Cliff would definitely want to keep Jackson. So Nicole is saying, you know, if that did happen, we would obviously talk about it. I'm not just going to leave you out to dry with the vote. I'm not going to leave you hanging. So I don't know. We don't even know if that's going to happen, but it would be a very interesting scenario. Um, Nicole would prefer to go to the end with Jess and Nick. I mean, that's pretty obvious. Okay, so then the rest of the afternoon... Um, the house guests were just like waiting around, trying to figure out what this HO, no, not HOH, what, is, what this veto competition is going to be. They have a feeling it could be Zingbot because it would make sense with Prank Week. And yes, it is. It's Zingbot. So I can't wait to hear these zings. I don't know what kind of competition is going to be going along with this. They were thinking it could be Hide and Go Veto. Maybe, um, what was the other one they were talking about? Oh, BB Comics. I don't know. Um, we'll see. It's going to be a fun one. Again, I cannot wait to hear these zings. So we'll be talking about all that and more tomorrow. If you want to check back later, uh, I'll post the winner of the POV in the info box below. I don't know if I mentioned this, but the feeds are actually down now. So they did start the competition. Um, I have no idea how long it's going to be, but excited to see who won this veto. So let me know what you guys think in the comments about all this. And until next time, much love.